So do you guys know Andrew Garfield, the former Amazing Spider-Man lead and potential Spider-Man No Way Home super secret guest star? Is actually a dual citizen of both the United States and the UK? It's true. Most of you have probably heard his dreamy British accent whenever he's in front of the camera giving interviews. But Andrew, well he was actually born in Los Angeles, California back in August of 1983. These days he's had properties both in LA and currently in London, which we're going to check out in this video. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Andrew Garfield is an actor who spent the first three years of his life being raised in LA by his English mother and Jewish American father. Soon after that, his family relocated to Surrey, England. Andrew would then spend the rest of his youth living in the town of Epson, which isn't all that far from London. When asked which country he prefers to spend his time in, Andrew generally replies that he feels equally at home in both. And while that might actually be the case, one thing's for sure. Andrew was far more open about his lifestyle while living in Los Angeles alongside his ex-girlfriend Emma Stone than he has been since their breakup. Andrew and Emma scooped their home up near the beginning of the last decade, but by 2015 they'd be calling it quits. Since then, Andrew has moved back to England where he's found a new posh place to live. However, he's managed to keep much of the details about his new home hush hush. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, today looking at where Andrew Garfield calls home, including spots both on the west and east coasts. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Back in 2011, Andrew Garfield first met Emma Stone while they were filming their respective roles as Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy on the set of The Amazing Spider-Man. Thanks to the immense hype surrounding the film and its eventual box office success, there was a considerable amount of attention given to this couple over the years. It became especially clear that these two were very serious about one another when they pooled their resources together to buy their very own home in Beverly Hills. Their $2.5 million property featured more than 3,800 square feet of space, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and was once owned by the late great English actor Dudley Moore. Upon arrival outside the home on Knoll Place in Beverly Hills, you're immediately greeted by some rustic looking green gates that provide all of the necessary privacy a young celebrity couple could want. Before we head inside, let's check out the backyard which is complemented by gigantic pool and a cute little cover deck that's perfect for late night entertaining. Of course, as cozy as that might be, the inside is even more so. Designed as a traditional ranch residence, the home features a step down living room with a vaulted wood ceiling, clerestory windows that allow for ample natural light, and a full wall of French doors that open up to the yard of the house. The kitchen is fashioned in a vintage style with dark wood floors alongside plenty of counter space and a killer temperature controlled walk-in wine closet with custom built floor to ceiling bottle racks. The nearby dining room is slightly understated but still elegant and perfect for those intimate family gatherings. And much like with the living room, a series of gorgeous French doors open up from the dining room into the backyard space. Meanwhile, a nearby family room can pull double duty as either an entertainment room or a gym. Whatever the moment calls for. The master bedroom is located on the main floor and it has a spectacular built-in fireplace, cozy bed, as well as an easy outdoor access. It's attached to an ensuite bathroom that holds a marble tub and separate shower, not to mention a lengthy stretch of his and her sinks. There is also a guest bedroom with a private bathroom nearby and not one but two for their bedrooms that at one point were decked out as children's rooms. When the media got a hold of that little nugget, they started working overtime, assuming that Andrew and Emma were already looking to start a family. Well, despite living in a home custom built for such, sadly, that was never the case for these two. After moving into the home in 2012, they would split in 2015, with Andrew moving back to London, England soon after. Once his very public relationship with Emma Stone had come to an end, Andrew has kept his personal life a closely guarded secret ever since. In fact, he's even gone so far as to say that he's designed his life to be as far out of the public eye as possible because he wants to be both a mess and stupid without having people breathing down his neck watching his every move. He told Bustle, I fight for my right for a private, personal life, my right to be ordinary, my right to be a mess, my right to be sorrowful, my right to lose, to get it wrong, to be stupid, to be a person. 
Since his relationship with Emma Stone came to an end, his love life has circled around a bunch of rumors, meaning he's been linked to a few ladies. In fact, it's thanks to this relationship with Rita that we have any information about Andrew's home in London at all, because it was while the paparazzi were following her around town that they spotted her leaving Andrew's home early one morning. That's right, the only real information we have on Andrew's London flat is that it appears to be located in a historical part of town made out of brick buildings and he's got his very own cobblestone driveway. I know, not too exciting, but that's really all we got. Of course, since then, Andrew has moved on from Rita and is now rumored to be dating supermodel Alyssa Miller, who was recently spotted walking around New York City with, holding hands, while in town to promote his newest film, Tick Tick Boom. But will that really be his newest film? Hmm. Now before we head out, I'd really like to send my best well wishes to Andrew and his family. Remember off the top how I mentioned Andrew grew up with an English mother? Well, part of the reason that Andrew moved back home to England probably had to do with the fact that his mom was dealing with cancer. Garfield's mom Lynn once handmade him his very own Spider-Man suit when he was just three years old, and he's described her in the past as the purest angel. After battling her illness for an extended period of time, Lynn sadly passed away in 2019. Andrew is thankful that he was able to be there by her side at the end, he told Variety. The good news about me and her is that we left nothing unsaid, and those last two weeks I got to be with her were probably the most profound two weeks of my life. It was full of grace in the midst of the terrible tragedy. Perhaps there's less holding Andrew to England now than there used to be. Maybe he'll even return to living in the US sometime soon, but for now, I think the rest of us just wish we could get a better look at his current home. Or any look at all. So what do you say, Andrew? Feel like going on Instagram Live sometime soon to give us all a taste? Oh wait, you don't have Instagram or any social media? I guess we'll just have to keep imagining then. All right, so that wraps up this Andrew Garfield house tour. We saw his previous Los Angeles home and what we do know about his current one, which is almost nothing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you would like to see another celebrity's home profile done here, be sure to drop some names down below too. Thanks for watching. Follow me over on Instagram if you want to chat, and I will see you all next time. Bye!